Good morning and welcome to another MWO Serial Reviews. I am your host, Bill Johnson. These are my final days in Montclair, New Jersey. I think I'll maybe squeeze one more in. That's why my backdrop's packed up. You see all the boxes behind me. That's somebody else taking over this house. And I'll be headed to the Bronx. So, without further ado, this might be one of the most important serial reviews I ever do. Post Honey Made S'mores Cereal. Fun fact, Bill Johnson's favorite cereal of all time is General Mills's S'mores Cereal. When it went away, I was devastated. The difference between the two, as I can see already, looks like these little Cocoa Puff additions are not in the original one. The original one is just marshmallows, the Golden Grams, and they're covered like in a chocolate powder. They were the best cereal of all time. If I could give them a 20, I would give them a 20. My other favorite cereal of all time was OJ's. Those are also discontinued. Google both of them. But let's check it out. Post makes this. I think this was an off-brand cereal that Post sort of purchased. Um, I'm glad they did. I'm excited to see S'mores back. I remember the Kellogg's S'mores with a Z. I wasn't a fan. Those are not very good. Those are gone now, too. All right. Good news. I got a Golden Grams smell coming here. That's what you want to smell. Oh, man. Looks great. I need the marshmallows to be hard. They are. This is going to be the closest thing to original s'more cereal. I think on the market there it is beautiful these are covered in sugar not chocolate I'm not so sure that that's needed so dry test all three together dry is just Golden grams and a lot of sugar. So, the dry test, not exactly a win. We had a lot of potential to get rock solid here, though. Let's check it out. Mm. A lot of marshmallows. I'm really conflicted here. Um, it's like I'm getting something I want, but it's not exactly how I want it. Box is not so good. Fun fact, though, so many marshmallows. Americans buy 90 million pounds of marshmallows every year. That's a cool thing to put on the box. First honey made graham cracker was made in 1925 by the Pacific Coast Biscuit Company in Seattle, Washington. Alright, final bite. Mm. Don't, get, don't get me wrong, it's really good, but part of life. This disappointment, it's going to happen a lot to anyone watching, especially the younger folks. It's coming for you. Listen, this is an 8.5. It's an 8.5, but it's disappointing because you know there was a 10 version of this, a 20 version of this, that General Mills used to make, and I've signed petitions to bring it back. It's very disheartening that that's here. I don't know why they would cancel such an amazing, delicious cereal. Doesn't make sense. It's an 8.5. But yeah, disappointment is coming for you in life, my friends. It is happening. 
Um, that's it. Sometimes your favorite cereals just go away forever. And they're a memory. Just a distant memory. Um, thanks again to Barney Donnelly for Local Impact Media in Dallas, Texas for providing the backdrop of which I don't have right now and probably won't have for quite a few episodes. Shout out to all my best viewers, Marnie Z and Sig Dick. And please subscribe, like down below. Love you guys. One more Montclair episode and we out.